This video is a part of a series all about manipulating arrays. Today we're going to talk about filtering arrays. Let's say we have an array of dog breeds and we want to filter it out to only include the corgi breeds. We can use the filter method. The filter method creates a shallow copy of the initial array. The copy is filtered down based on the criteria passed into the provided function. Let's talk about the filter method syntax. This is the variable that will hold the new filtered array. This is the call to the filter method itself. This is the function where each item in the array will be iterated through. The item will then either be added or not added to the new array based on the filter criteria set on the right side of the function. Let's dive into some code. Here we have the array we talked about earlier with a list of dog breeds. We'll create a new array called corgis and use our filter function. In our array criteria, we'll use the includes method and we'll check to see if the string includes corgi. We'll make sure to do a console.log so that we can print out our result in the terminal. We'll run our file using node and we'll see that there's a new array created with the two corgi breeds listed. Let's say we have another array called pets. This array has more information for each animal, including age. Let's use the filter function to make a new array of all pets over the age of five. We're doing this using dot notation to access the age of each object in the array and then checking if it's greater than 5. Once again, we'll be sure to console.log this so that it prints to the terminal. Now we'll run our file using node and then we'll see that we have a new filtered array of only pets over 5. 